Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, in the last video, I showed you all how to install 12.04 alpha of um, Ubuntu on your ARM Series 3 Chromebook. What we're going to be doing today in this video is I'll show you how to uh, do some critical fixes for your touchpad, uh, the speakers, OpenGL, and uh, even a flash player. We have an alternative to that. We couldn't be able to get a flash player installed on an um, ARM, ARM version of uh, Ubuntu. But uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, this, this, uh, these fixes have really, really made my experience with Ubuntu uh, way better. Before, it was barely usable, especially since the touchpad would only respond to your, to your finger, like actual fingerprint. It wouldn't res respond to like the tip of your finger. It would only respond if you put a lot of pressure on it. So hopefully uh, these fixes should uh, make your experience a lot better. Uh, I've been running into an issue uh, with my locale setting. I get unsupported locale when I install some applications, but hopefully there will be a fix that I will find in the future. Uh, I've tried uh, several several commands and packages that are supposed to help, but we'll see. None of them worked out for me, but uh, I'll still look for a solution if you guys are getting the same problem. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So I compiled uh, a bunch of fixes that I found from developers everywhere. Um, first is for the touchpad. I, I'd just like to give a shout out to Craig Arrington for his fix. Uh, you can, you guys can go check him out at craigarrington.com. His touchpad fix, uh, it did it for me. It worked. Um, I'll walk you guys through that, but, uh, yeah, we'll, I'll walk you guys through that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, a person named Marcin Juskiewicz. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, I'd like to give a shout out to him too. He's amazing. Uh, his PPA, he made a PPA for uh, for uh, the Chromebook for uh, for Ubuntu, and uh, basically he said that it accelerates the Xorg uh, video driver. It also uh, it brings OpenGL as long as you have root root A. Uh, okay, and then what else? L uh, was that leave a sound? Okay. So yeah, basically some people have been frying their speakers trying to fix the audio, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to fix the audio, but uh, we're going to install his PPA first before we uh, do the audio fix, just in case someone does an extra step and maxes out their volume while trying to fix the speakers and poof, you know, your speakers are blown out, you can't fix them anymore. So for the audio fix, I'd like to thank uh, Jack Murray. He's over at the uh, Chromios, uh, the Chromios 48 blogspot.com. He actually just commented. He didn't. I don't think he he didn't actually make the build, but he commented with this fix. We have to actually go into also mixer. It's not a kernel driver. It's actually just just a settings issue. So I'll show you guys how to do that too. And then Flash Player. We have several alternatives. Um, I think my best, my I've had most success with GNash. GNash is uh, is available in the software center. I'll show you guys how to do that, or you can add it as a as a plugin or repository. I'll show you guys how to do that. Also, I've heard of LightSpark. It personally has not worked out for me, but um, we'll see what we get to in this video. All right, so uh, let's get started. Uh, for the mouse, what we're gonna want to do, we're gonna open up a terminal. Terminal, so it, you could either search terminal. Oh, by the way, the the caps key is a search key uh, on the Chromebook, and it also works as a search key on Ubuntu. So if you guys want to do that, that could work out. Or you could just press Control Alt T. It will open up a terminal for you. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna zoom in to see if I can capture some of the. The text on my um, on my terminal. Okay, there we go. One second, let me just fix this up. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so you're gonna want to type in M K D I R. Okay, and then space that squiggly thing, and then forward slash backup. Okay, then we're gonna press enter, and that's it. And then you're gonna you're gonna type in sudo mv space 
forward slash user usr forward slash share forward slash x11 forward slash xorg dot conf dot d forward slash asterisk space squiggly forward slash backup forward slash and then we're going to press enter and then it's going to say sudo password for user and we all know that the default password is user if you haven't changed it already so we're going to type in user enter and there you go now we're going to press we're going to type in cd space forward slash user forward slash share forward slash x sorry guys make sure that the x's are capital or just when they need to be capital they are capital this is going to be share forward slash capital x 11 forward slash x o r g dot conf dot d forward slash and then enter and there we go now um, we're going to type in sudo w get http colon forward slash forward slash craig errington dot com oh you guys can't see that one sec that should be good Craig Arrington dot com forward slash oh sorry wait let me zoom out Craig Arrington dot com that should be better I think Craig Arrington dot com forward slash right forward slash Chrome forward slash X underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u so that says c h r ubuntu and then dot zip okay and we're just gonna press enter and then it should do that and you should get a response wait let me let me just pan down a little bit so you guys can see that oh, let me move this up there we go so there you can see, uh, you, get, you get the dollar sign, which means that it completed, right? And then what we're gonna do after that is, let's see, sudo unzip, here we go. Sudo unzip, can you guys see that? I think, I should move this down a little bit. There we go, all right. So you're gonna type in sudo unzip x space x. Sorry, let me start over. Sudo space unzip space x underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u dot zip enter and there you go. And then the next thing is gonna be sudo rm x underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u dot zip enter and there we go now make sure okay guys make sure that you don't reboot at all during any like when any of these commands are running we're gonna be rebooting after but we're not done yet so after we do that we're gonna type in uh, if you're an, if you use an English keyboard uh, if you use like a the US version of the keyboard we're gonna want to change something if you're in the UK then uh, or if you're in like Great Britain or sorry if you're in England then your keyboard is gonna default at GB because Craig Arrington he his keyboard uh, his keyboard settings which we just downloaded and and, uh, and replaced with ours uh, are, are are in GB so we want to change it to US and if you guys I don't know your country code or whether it's like you Okay guys, so this is the command you're going to run to open up the, um, to change the keyboard layout from Great Britain to US or whatever, whatever keyboard layout you normally use, right? So it's going to be sudo g edit forward slash user forward slash share 
forward slash capital X 11 forward slash X O R G dot conf dot D forward slash 10 dash keyboard dot C O N F. Okay, and then you're gonna press enter. And then let's just go right over here. So you guys see how it says GB? For me, I'm in the US, so my keyboard layout is in the US, so I'm just gonna change that to US. And usually I had this problem before, I didn't type in sudo before I ran the command, so I didn't have super, I didn't have like, like fake root access basically. So I couldn't save it and the file was read only. So I ran sudo before gedit, and then that's how, that's how I got here. And then we're gonna press save. Yeah. And then we're just gonna close it up. And then if you want to check that it actually ran, you're gonna press, you're gonna rerun the command by pressing the up arrow key and then enter. It's gonna run the same command. And see right there it says US. So that's perfect. So now what we're gonna do. We're gonna just reboot. And then your touchpad should now work. So let's try it out. Alright guys, so we're all back and booted into Ubuntu and as you can see now, my touchpad is working and it's working flawlessly. See what I'm using actually to make sure that it's different from before, I'm using the tip of my finger instead of actually doing this, which we had to do before. Um, but now you see it's just flying through, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, thank Craig Arrington again for that fix. Um, if you guys aren't really that familiar with Ubuntu, I can uh, show you how to get two-finger scrolling and change the sensitivity and the um, acceleration speed for your touchpad. So what you can do is just, you're going to go to click dash home, and we're going to go ahead and type in, uh, what is it, mouse, yeah, mouse and touchpad right there. Just click it, and then it's going to open up the uh, the settings, and I don't know if you can see that, let me zoom in. Um, Right there, that's a settings box, and uh, we're just gonna. This is the mouse, not the touchpad. So you're gonna want to switch tabs over to the touchpad, and uh, I just like it really fast. So I'm just gonna go all the way, max it out, right, and then sensitivity. I'm gonna max mine out too, and then you guys see right here it says two finger scrolling. Just go ahead and uh, check that uh, radio button, and then uh, you guys can change it however you like. You know, you can disable touchpad while typing. Uh, enable mouse clicks with touchpad, uh, enable horizontal scrolling, you know, whatever you guys like. I, I like horizontal scrolling, so I'm just going to do that. But, yeah, I mean, you, as long as the mouse is, uh, the touchpad's working, I think uh, our a big problem was, uh, was solved through this. So, again, thank you, Craig Arrington. Uh,